do a presentation, and that's to receive an update from the San Mateo County Mosquito and Vector Control District. Mr. Rico. My, my assistant, your assistant, uh, Ben Russmeisel from the, uh, the district is going to uh, help us get started. I want to thank you and the, the council and the, the city for allowing us to uh, give you a, a quick little update. Basically, uh, we want to uh, help keep San Bruno mosquito free. So we're going to talk about mosquitoes in San Bruno and if I can make this work. button and go this way. The, the task of the uh, Mosquito District is basically to keep mos San Bruno mosquitoes free. There are three different, three or five, I forgot which, uh, varieties of mosquitoes that are prevalent uh, sporadically throughout the, the year. So there, there's always somewhere in the county, a couple in this area, uh, mosquitoes all the time. So it's not just a two or three month uh, We're here to serve you. The uh, San Mateo County Mosquito and Vector Conducis serves San Bruno. They respond to residents' requests regarding mosquitoes, rodents, yellow jackets, uh, etc. Recently, as your appointed trustee, I attended a half day trustee day, which we have every year, where we uh, were brought up to date on a whole lot of things, and I want to summarize a little bit of that. And part of the reason that Ben is here today is the aspect that I like best of trustee day is I get to sit down with Ben for a half hour or whatever, pick his brains, he gets to complain to me or tell me where there are uh, good and bad things. So I'm gonna try and uh, cover a, a little bit of that. Also after the trustee day, which I haven't done for three or four years, I took about two hours and I rode around with Ben. We were out in the Mills Field area, we were tromping around, you'll see a couple pictures uh, of what he does on a weekly, almost a weekly, if, if not uh, more often, basis, and uh, to keep San Bruno uh, mosquito free. Also, at trust, before trustee day, the last couple of years, I've sent him three or four questions relative to where are their problems or specific aspects of, of San Bruno, and he was able to uh, research these, and I'm gonna go through some of the, uh, the, the questions and, and his answers. I asked him if there were any habitual problem areas uh, and his answer since he since he took over San Bruno in May and the district every two or three years rotates the technicians around so he had been uh, down the peninsula but he's been with the district for 10 years thereabouts okay so he had only been up here since <clears throat> since May but the district does have real good computer records and uh, so he was able to say that there are basically no habitual problem areas. Most of the impound type sources are only now beginning to fill up with water. <clears throat> However, Ben predicts that Mills Field will present an ongoing challenge, and I have some pictures to show about Mills Field as the potential to produce a large number of mosquitoes. Most of the focus will be spent on inspection, treatment, and to keep the population of the mosquitoes at a minimum. The district tries to treat and kill the larva stage of the mosquito before they get into the stage that flies off. So if we, we the district, Ben, does his job right, you won't see the mosquitoes flying around. This is just uh, pictures that we took uh, a week or so back. This is out in the Mills Field area. This is some of the uh, area impound, as they call it, standing water that needs to be sampled, needs to be treated. There are tules out there. This is under the, uh, over, uh, the, uh, yeah, the overpass going into the, the airport. There are tule areas out there. And uh, before we, let me go to this, whoops, go back. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, I asked him what, what assistance the city of San Bruno staff, like possibly the parks department, could offer from time to time. And the preface on this, when we were having a lot of dead birds found. The park department stepped up last year and asked and got the, the buy-in from the, the, your various employees who work out in the park, <clears throat> excuse me, to be more eyes. And if they found these dead birds, they promptly reported them to the, uh, the district. And Ben's answer was that the parks in the city of San Bruno are in all around good shape. Uh, they do have 
water runoff that flows through the park, but it's fed from above sources and tends to move unobstructed. He did notice that some of the grassier areas at times are oversaturated even in the, the summer, and perhaps the park department could either try to water less or take other actions to maybe avoid pooling in the, in the grassy areas. The mosquitoes need a non-moving non water to, uh, to breed. If there's a lot of water movement or a lot of air movement, they will not uh, breed as, as readily. This just shows uh, where there, there is controlled water flowing through the park. As long as it's flowing, it's not a, uh, a real concern. But I'm sure Ben uh, checks these every once in a while when he does do his, his sampling. Uh, <coughs> Asked him about how well or are there problem areas that the district has encountered working with the San Francisco airport since it's adjacent to the uh, San Bruno city limits, if you will. Basically, Mills Field is in the airport uh, jurisdiction. And Ben says there have been no issues with uh, the airport uh, regarding the access and or treatment to uh, Mills Field. Another question. How well or are there problems working with Caltrain uh, where their tracks run through San Bruno? A year or so ago, early in the construction, there was some standing water problems with, uh, with Caltrain uh, through the district. We reported that to Caltrain and they uh, cleaned that up uh, real quickly. And Ben says that so far the uh, current grade separation is, uh, or his answer, the grade separation project has not interfered in any way with mosquito inspection or, or treatment. Uh, also, we, we asked, or I asked, uh, were there uh, problems with the, uh, the, school, the school district? Uh, some of the schools in the past had uh, reported ground nesting uh, yellow jackets, and if the school can basically pinpoint where the nests are, the, uh, the mosquito district will go out and uh, eradicate them. There had only been one school, John Muir, which had an ongoing problem with ground nesting uh, yellow jackets and then treated uh, roughly five nests up there on the property. He is uh, on a first name basis with Dr. Dunleavy, the principal, and I think they've even exchanged cell, cell numbers so that uh, as necessary she can call him directly. She, I've talked to her in the past on this and she is real happy with uh, the uh, response. This is just uh, showing a picture of John near school. Information on the result of the newly installed storm drain screening as it relates to additional time that the district may have to spend to adequately inspect and treat the hundreds of storm drains opening in the city. And Ben's answer is that the storm drain screening had not prevented regular spraying of the catch basin. The spray ones can fit through the holes. During heavy rains, though, however, leaf litter and I didn't push anything. I'll go on without, the, without that. Uh, the, uh, the city has been very responsive in, in listening to the request and cleaning up the garbage in the, uh, in the gutters. So uh, everything has been uh, going good on that project. I had a picture of the storm drain, but basically they put a, a metal perforated grate vertically at the back under the uh, the, uh, the raised concrete, concrete. We also asked, uh, are there any aspects that the, or problems that the district has with the, uh, if present, with the city of San Bruno or its residents that could become uh, a big uh, concern in improving or correcting? And Ben said, the best thing residents can do to help eliminate mosquito breeding sources is to, that's all right, I don't need it. Miriam, I can work without it, uh, is to dump out containers that fill with rainwater, maintain their ponds or, or fountains better, and if they do not currently receive our services, we do supply uh, mosquito fish for, uh, for ponds. Uh, they can call and one of our technicians will inspect then or treat the source, and if it's really a source that needs constant uh, updating or up monitoring, they will put it in their uh, database and that triggers them to, uh, to go out uh, more often. <clears throat> I had a picture of standing water on a sidewalk 
happened, I think, be outside of John Muir down on, uh, on Crestmore. It was it's standing water. It's not one that you can dump, but if residents have standing water like that, they can take the broom, they can take the rake or whatever and, and try and uh, move it away. If there's a lot of car traffic and a lot of wind movement, it will not uh, as readily offer a uh, location for uh, the mosquitoes to breed, but any, any water is, uh, is bad if it's standing. Also, I had a slide in there that at your uh, December council meeting, uh, Public Works Director Jim Porter reported that uh, he was getting emergency permits to uh, do work in uh, Cupidro and clean some of the tules out, and we were able to uh, see when Ben and I went out a couple of weeks ago that uh, they had done that and the water was moving much faster through there and obviously wouldn't overflow, but the faster it moves, the less that it is uh, a problem for, for Ben or the, the residents. Relative to the Crestmore rebuild area, Ben said that work in the Crestmore neighborhood is well underway and currently presents no problems with access. In the past, there had been certain roads that were diverted, but currently everything is uh, acceptable and he can get to where he uh, <coughs> needs to go. He had a couple general comments. I kind of asked him if he had, if the district was supplying him with all the, the tools, the education, the background that he needed so that we could expect him to do what we expected him to do. That's a bad sentence, but anyhow. Ben advised me that he felt that he had all the tools and resources to continue to inspect and treat San Bruno areas of concern. He felt that the summer hires, who you can see driving around in the, right, in the white right-hand drive Jeeps, are a big help with him because it frees him up to respond to service calls <clears throat> and keep the district on a on a schedule for about once a month inspecting and treating every storm drain in San Bruno. And there's like what, 30,000 or something? There's maybe that's too big. But I mean, they, they they treat they attempt to treat every one of the storm drains once a month. He also felt that he was offered and has taken advantage of many of the continuing education classes. So he's staying on top of the latest methods for inspection and treatment. Um, our, our lab director discussed a number of ways the district will be expanding our testing and surveillance to better and more promptly respond to finding of positives in the county. We don't want the positives, but the faster that we can find them, the faster that the district can uh, respond and <coughs> take appropriate action. We will still send secondary samples of the, to, the, to the state to let them double check, but uh, it will allow us to uh, respond quicker. The lab is now going to be able to do more in-house testing <coughs> on resistance to the, I hate to use the word chemicals, on the agents, the bacterial agents that uh, we use. We switch from time to time, and so we uh, can make sure that they don't the mosquitoes don't uh, become uh, less susceptible to, uh, to what we're using to treating. The one thing downstream that uh, the district is going to be more aware of is there's an Asian tiger mosquito that has started to uh, show up in Southern California. It is uh, really bad with some of the uh, things that it, uh, it can carry, so we are going to uh, start testing as as necessary there we go uh, on a, thank you Miriam yeah, on uh, up here so kind of wrapping it up continuing success we're going to have more surveillance we're going to have faster testing that will mean faster treatment fewer mosquito problem and hopefully a happier mosquito free San Bruno <coughs> and if you need have questions the district phone number is 3448592 Ben is here tonight and he would uh, attempt to answer questions if you have questions tomorrow and beyond. I am your uh, appointed trustee and I will either answer your questions or direct them to the, uh, the district and uh, report back. And uh, thank you, Robert. Ben and I are happy to answer any questions or thank you again for the opportunity. Any questions of our representative? Yes, yeah. Mr. Mayor. Bob and Ben, I guess, uh, thank you for all your efforts. My just crossed my mind when you said that the Crestmore rebuild, which is adjacent, yeah. which was adjacent to the canyon, and we do have I don't know what he's we do have significant canyon area 
Have you gone through the canyons and see if there's any standing water uh, or little pockets here and there that may not be accessible? Well, as far as the canyons are concerned, at this time of year, the water is usually moving pretty, pretty fast and it's draining properly. However, in the summertime, uh, it does a pothole up and those areas which are mostly creeks are on a, um, a checklist. They get trimmed and or treated by us on a monthly schedule. And my, my last question is that we do have a couple of uh, multifamily uh, developments like uh, uh, the place and Shelter Creek and there's significant landscaping all over. I mean, are they cooperating? You know, making sure that uh, their, their homeowners and their residents are being prudent and uh, taking care of standing water? Um, I'm not aware of any issues in that area. Um, most of the time with newer developments, they're, they're drained. To, oh, they're older ones. I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm not entirely familiar with the area you're referring to, but um, yeah, the drainage is usually pretty good in those areas. Okay. Any other questions? Well, Robert, once again, thank you for all the time you put in. I know it's, it's pretty extensive. Allows me to be happy and hear these other reports. Good. Thank you very much.